did you go pee pee in the potty? Why do I live in this godforsaken place? Maybe it's time for another baby. No. Don't lick, what is this new thing? <laughs> We made it to my mom's house, but she is grocery shopping, so she's not here yet. My dad's taking a nap, but I thought I'd show you something a little bit embarrassing. I don't know if this is from my medication because I've noticed it more since I started taking my thyroid meds, but it also oh, could just be Arizona. I know, you think Emma's house is all about candy. I'll get you some in just a minute once we're done vlogging, okay? But it also might just be because it's literally like over 100 degrees. Can you see? I don't know if it's going to show. I got really bad armpit stains, which is, whoopsie. It's okay. Are you okay? Which is really frustrating because I, like, changed the shirt before I got here. But that's literally just from, like, the walk from the house to the car to the, um, from the walk from the house to the car and then the walk from the car to my parents' house. Because we do have air conditioning in our car, of course. But it's so ridiculously hot. Every summer I ask myself, why do I live in this godforsaken place? And then winter comes and I'm like, oh, that's right. You don't have to shovel sunshine. I don't know if I could handle cold weather. I've never actually had it before, but that, that's embarrassing. And normally I keep like a change of clothes in the car. I didn't bring any, so maybe I'll borrow something of my mom's because it's, I'm like melting away. It's awful. Oh made a big mistake. So I was changing the water in my mom's salt water tank. I did a big water change and I ran out of salt. So the water is not completely full yet. It's like still got a huge chunk there. So I have to run to the store as fast as possible to get salt to fill this back up. So I'm gonna do that and you're gonna watch the kids, right? No, I'm gonna leave it here alone. Well, grandpa's here, so do whatever you want. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> okay. The key is to move fast. I don't know how I did that. I usually am really good about checking the salt before I start a water change, but I planned on doing just kind of a small one, and then I just kept emptying water, and then as I was filling it back up, I realized I am all out of salt, so I need to kind of hurry along and pick some up and get that tank full again. Oh, it's heavy. tip when buying something this heavy get a cart so I always used to do a cart for kitty litter I don't know why I didn't think to grab a cart for the salt one of the nice things about the extra trip is it gave me a chance to rehearse for my audition which is tomorrow you guys I'm a little nervous if you guys didn't see uh, the video from a couple days ago I am auditioning for a musical and um, been a long time so I've just kind of been practicing every time I'm in the car because I can't just belt in the middle of my house all the time when the kids are home so uh, the car is my rehearsal space we'll see we'll see how it goes you are not gonna want to miss tomorrow's vlog because there's like a million things that is happening tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a really big day um, I'm going to see the endocrinologist again um, to find out more about my Hashimoto's. Um, Ken is going to have his thing on his head removed and I'm going to spend most of the day probably with my mom tomorrow. She is off and my audition is tomorrow. So a lot going on. Hit the bell so you don't miss tomorrow's. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, it got up kind of late because I was really sick this morning and slept until like noon so I didn't get the video live until really late so don't forget to check that out too. Roslyn what are you looking for? It's a bear, the fire beetle. The fire beetle? Isabel. Oh you named her Isabel. Isabel. Apparently Roslyn is looking for a little bug that she found yesterday and named Isabel. Anyway so crisis has been averted in my mom's fish tank we're doing what we tend to do on weekends, which is fish shop. Sounds like the kids want to talk though, so I'll just stop vlogging. Don't lick, what is this new thing? Don't do that, Irene. Did you learn nothing? Do you want to see yourself? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sit.
Sit down, please. I do it. No, you need a grown-up's help. No, I do it. You need, okay, grown-up's help. Yep. I do it. What did you just do? Cheese. Cheese, are you smiling? Tell us what you just did. What did you just do? Did you go pee-pee in the potty? Yes. Like a big girl? You want to see the mice, Rosalind? So we're at Petco, and Irene just suddenly says, wait, I need to go potty. And so um, we're like, okay, whatever, kiddo. And so we stopped at the, um, the bathroom. We took her diaper off. Sure enough, it was dry. And she went in the toilet. I'm so proud of her. I can't believe you went pee-pee in the potty. What a big girl you are. High five. That is a mouse, Roslyn. Irene never ceases to amaze me. I swear, this kid is going to potty train herself. Like, she genuinely did. She just was like wearing a diaper and we're at, you know, Petco. And she just goes, I need to go potty. And again, we do the whole potty thing. Her diaper's dry. She goes in the potty. I can't believe it because we haven't done really hardly any effort at it at all. Um, I've been kind of waiting until Ken is like off and has a break because basically I want to do the whole home all day for three days with no diapers at all and see what happens. But I know that I'm going to need help from Ken and so I was hoping to do it over summer break um, but summer school starts this week so we can't do that. And I was like, oh, we'll wait till July. But if she keeps doing this, maybe we won't even have to do that. Or we might decide to start it a little bit sooner because this kid is just growing up way too fast. Maybe it's time for another baby. I don't know. I, I, all my kids are growing up. I'm getting baby fever. We are home again and take a look at my husband. How are you doing, babe? I came home and he was just sitting in the dark. Yes. What happened? Wait, first, I have to tell you what happened with us. Guess what Irene did? Pooped in the toilet. Okay, I'm really starting to think that she's potty training herself. Did she that actually? This, she peed. Uh -huh. We were at Petco and she stopped us and goes, wait, I have to go potty. And then we took her to the bathroom. And she's like, I don't like wet diapers. And she peed, and her diaper was dry, and she flushed, and she wiped, and she washed her hands. Did you talk a little quiet? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, what happened here while we were away? Many things. So I started, It sounds like it was quite eventful. So this morning you were sick, so I took care of the kids. So I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to, which is fine. I had planned to do it uh, this afternoon. So Heidi took the girls to her parents. And this morning, I started my antibiotic regimen. I forgot to do it yesterday. Yes, I know. But anyways, I started it. And because he's about, about he was going to get the thing. Yes. I'm we'll show you the nice. thing. Warning. <clears throat> the thing. Taken care of tomorrow. Right. And about an hour after Heidi left, my head just started to hurt real bad. And then I had like a really bad tension headache is what it felt like. And now it's like a migraine because it's like... In the back of my school, like my, my brain stem to like just this eye. It's why I'm like winking at you. <laughs> it's because it just hurts to have like light hitting this eye. It's just really painful right now. And so it just hurts all along this side here. And further, um, turns out one of the side effects for uh, the, the antibiotics is in addition to throwing all the gut flora and fauna, um, flora. I guess it would just be flora. Um, <laughs> be fauna in your gut. <laughs> would be uh, nausea. And that kicked in like two hours after Heidi left. And so did now, you take a probiotic yet? I did take probiotics, okay. yes. But it doesn't change the fact that like after, the, it's, it's a red one. It's the red one. After I take the red one for like an hour until it like gets out of my stomach, I just feel super nauseous. It's actually why I'm so up right now. It's because I took it at 9 o'clock, and it's like, what, 9.30 or something? How many do you have to take in a day? Four. <gasps> yeah. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll change the dosage. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Just Because you don't want to mess around with antibiotics, but, <clears throat> but if you're under doctor supervision, it's a whole different thing. Um, what else happened, though? Because your thing, yeah. something exciting so, happened. Okay, so all this happening, so I go to lay down. And then, like, oh, gosh, now I have to use the restroom. Because, of course, it's always when you, like, laid out, right? Right, right. And so I get up, and then I'm, like, 
I feel like dribbling. And I'm, uh. like, I'm like, what the heck is that? I go, am I bleeding? And it was like clear yellow. And I was like, is this brain fluid? Can I, I look like, at it? Yeah. Can we look at it? Yeah. And then I was like, oh no, I know what it is. And then it kept coming like a lot. It actually looks smaller, yeah, honey. I, that makes a lot of sense. Cause it I was, mean, it's I'd still get it checked tomorrow, no, but it looks well, way less angry. Well, Interestingly, from my interactions with it, I think... Your interactions with your thing? My thing. You're acting the like creature. it's like your twin growing out of your head or something. I think there's actually two. Because, like, it, like, bled out. And I, I, it was, nothing else was coming out of it. Just pus and everything. But it was done. But I still poke and there's still, like... There's still sack, quite a bit there. There's still, like, a sack of fluid. And so I think it's, like, a... The reason it was so big is because there's, like, two on top of each other or something. I don't know. I don't care. I just want it gone. And if that's going to happen tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. It sounds like it was quite an eventful evening. I wish that we had two cameras. That would be an, a thing that would be nice to have two cameras for. It would have been mostly just me going... Ugh. I think it would have been cool to see it pop, though. Um, that was kind of traumatic. I was actually oh. okay for, like, for, like, half an hour because of the adrenaline. Of just, right. like, having... What's happening to me? Oh, okay, it's okay. But now it's worn down, and now I feel terrible. So, and I'm still, in, even though my weekend state, still working on my lesson plan stuff. So, so um, he's still going to the doctor tomorrow. I'm still going to the doctor tomorrow. We're still having, I'm still having my audition tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. So if you haven't hit the bell yet, hit the bell. Also, when you're watching this, it's June 4th. This is the last full day that you can still get your hello box shirts um unless teespring auto renews it but i don't know if they're going to do that so just buy them um june 5th is the last day but i don't know what time that ends so if you want to check out the shirts now's the time to do it and um be sure to tune in tomorrow because it should be really eventful thanks for watching bye guys